Hey, babe. What time is it? It's wine time. This is December 4th of our Take a Wine Adventure calendar for wines around the world. Let's see what we're going to have this evening. So we're looking for day four right here. Nice little red snowflake, white or red. What will it be? Looks like a nice red. We have Vold, Vold, Cabernet Sauvignon from Moldova, Moldova. I don't think I've ever had anything from Moldova. It's a 2019, so that means it's had time to age, which that should hopefully improve the quality of the wine because I have to say that Merlot was not that great. It just didn't have the time needed. So I'm really excited to try this. Cabernet Sauvignon is one of my favorites. So let's taste. All right, here we are with uh, Volde, or Vold. I'm going to call it Volde just because of the accent over the E. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon for Moldova. Uh, I don't know anything about Moldova. I couldn't even find it on a map, I don't think. But we do know a lot about Cabernet Sauvignon because it is the most planted grape on the planet. Uh, so excited to, to check this one out. Um, in the glass, taking a quick look, it is deep dark purple which you'd expect from a nice bold red like uh, Cabernet Sauvignon uh, giving it a good swirl taking a look at those legs for the alcohol level one of the things that we've seen uh, in this case so far with the Costco case has been lower alcohol levels uh, and again the legs are kind of the teardrops the legs are showing that uh, it's probably low like 13 but we'll check the bottle just to be sure because I've misquoted a couple of these 12.8 uh, so yeah that's very low the only time I've really seen um, things that low have, in my experience have been, um, like German wines, sweet, sweet wines, um, Austria. So that, that's a little unusual for a Cab Sav. I expect a, a little, you typically we see it usually around 14%. So, uh, we'll see what this does. Let's check the nose. Yeah. So no alcohol is not getting in the way of anything. There's no burn at all. So it's big fruit, lots of, uh, prune and berry jam i'm getting a little bit of like fresh sharpened pencils like the sandalwood okay that's funny <laughs> the pencils mm. but the pencils show up in the taste because wow okay so this is something that i didn't expect um because of the big fruity nose i expected kind of a jammy uh, cab sab which is not really typical of, of Cab Sab, but it's Moldova, it's 12%. We don't know what the heck we're doing anyway, so uh, why wouldn't it be weird? But it's not actually, it's weird in that it's more traditional of a Cab Sab. It's nice and uh, that flinty, minerally, uh, with nice, um, subtle fruits, a lot of smoke, uh, the, the leathery. Little the black tea. The black tea, yeah, this is, this is really good. This would sell her incredibly well. And uh, I wager to guess probably be fan freaking tastic in ten years. I don't know if I'd give it. I'd probably t look at it more about five just because of the low alcohol, and the tannins aren't really crazy out of control. So, um, but yeah, definitely in three or four years, this is probably going to be really good. I mean, this is I'd call this the best so far. I agree. No, it, d at least definitely better than that Merlot. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, <laughs> we'll enjoy this one tonight. Cheers. Cheers.